Invisibility has been a fascination of little kids, authors, and scientists alike. I'm sure you've been envious of Harry Potter's invisibility cloak or the predator with his invisibility system. And it might seem like these objects are works of fantasy, but the concept behind making cloaks appear invisible is pretty simple. And it has to do with polarization and double refraction. You may be asking yourself, hey, Natalie, what does this have to do with crystals and gemstones? Well, first I'd say your name's Natalie too? How cool. And second, I'd tell you that many of the crystals and gemstones that we deal with on this show and at JTV come standard with the polarizing and refractive properties that might make true invisibility possible. Before we get into it, let's talk about what polarization and refraction actually are. If you have a pair of nice sunglasses, you may already be familiar with the concept of polarization. That's because the lenses in those sunglasses are polarized meaning they block out certain light waves. And refraction has to do with the way the light interacts with a translucent object of varying density. You know how when you stick a straw into a glass of water and the straw looks like it's cut right as it's entering the water? That's because the light that's passing through the glass of water is being bent or refracted due to the density change between the water and the air. We can measure this refraction rate by comparing the speed of light through air to the speed of light through a gem or another transparent object. The resulting ratio is called the refractive index, and it's a useful tool when identifying certain gemstones. Gems like calcite, quartz, and peridot are all doubly refractive gemstones, meaning that when light enters the gem, it's split into two different waves traveling at different speeds. This is because when the crystalline structure is formed, the atoms bond to different lengths in a three-dimensional plane causing light to take more time to travel along the longer axes and less time to travel along the shorter axes. When measuring the double refractiveness of a gem, tomologists use a concept called birefringence to describe how doubly refractive a stone may be. Calcite is a crystal that exhibits a high birefringence, meaning that this doubling effect is particularly strong. If you saw our Viking stone video, you probably remember seeing this birefringence in action. Seeing a straw distort in a glass of water or experiencing double vision by looking through a calcite crystal is fun. But all we've done is distorted certain objects, not make them invisible. Since we know that we're able to see because light is bouncing off of the stuff in front of us and hitting our eyes, what if we could use the properties we've just discussed to bend light around objects? creating the illusion of invisibility. That's exactly what a group of MIT scientists have done. They took a small object and placed it on a mirror. On top of the object, they placed two calcite crystals of opposite crystal orientation. After illuminating the setup, the object appeared invisible to the naked eye from a certain direction. Can something appear invisible? Now this experiment only works with standard white light. And if you were to move slightly to the left or the right, the illusion would be broken. So you're not going to be sleuthing around the halls of Hogwarts with this setup. Mr. Managed. Knox. Props. But it's still pretty dang cool. It's pretty lucky that Harry and all his buddies can lean on magic to accomplish invisibility. We have to deal with the pesky limitations of science. And even though these two sheets of calcite aren't going to help a certain dreadlock wearing, trophy hunting, alien creature stalk his prey, this experiment adheres to the concept that allows the fictional Predator's cloaking device to function. In the cinematic universe where Predator exists, there is a limited explanation for how his armor actually works. But bending light around Predator is one of the few explanations we have for this fantastic invisibility device. So even though we're still a long way off, science is still inching closer to making the cloaking devices of science fiction a reality. Have you ever used invisibility to secretly figure out more information about Nicholas Flamel? If so, we have a few scientists at MIT you should get in touch with. But first, let us know about it in the comments. And don't forget to like this video and subscribe to our channel. For more information on the topics we discussed today, check out the links below. Thanks for watching.